So I fed everyone Sunday. It's now Tuesday, so everyone is still pretty much full. So we're just gonna talk about some random stuff. Horribly edited video fact number one. Ivy, who is our Colombian rainbow boa. Hey sweetie, you have a rotting leaf right there. Is it yours? All right. She is a little over three years old. She has never struck or bitten at anyone other than her feeders. And even sometimes she doesn't do that to her feeders. She's our pickiest eater. Yeah. Ivy was also our first snake and she is sweet as pie. So uh, that probably helped with uh, adding on. <laughs> this is Twee. He also ate on Sunday. Buddy. So he is very much in digesting mode. He was the second snake that we ever got. He's in BPI, Tupac, Snow, Boa and Barater. He's somewhere in there, buddy. He's also fat sewing right now because he got a very large meal. He only eats about every four to five weeks. I'm trying to get some. Uh, he's somewhere in here. So he doesn't eat that often. Um, he's a very big male. He is indeed confirmed male. Are you? Uh, he's like, I am digesting. Oh, good boy. But yeah, he's, he's almost six feet at just over three years. And as you can see, the boas have very little to no food response when I open the door, um, which is kind of cool. Buddy, I left your govi out. Oops, I do that all the time. Take that back up there. I need to get a little holder. Oh, that's another thing I can show you. Hold on. All right, this is our, our a little bit of a dirty nursery. That's a plant I took out of Shai's house because his house is overgrowing. So this is Etoile's house. Hence the paper towel. She's our little um, prolapse girl. She's doing good. Hi, sweetie. Hi. So she, <laughs> hi. She's getting smaller feeders. So she's kind of always hungry, um, but she's getting fed more often. But what I wanted to show you with hers is, look at that. Look at that nice, cozy, Secure Govi. Look at that. Hubby made some modifications to a holder and they now mount on the wall like super easy and we can get them out to change the batteries without no problem. Without a problem? Without no problem? Nope, without a problem. There we go. So, a misconception that is often made about these snakes, and it's, I say misconception, it's not necessarily because sometimes it is true, but I have found that these guys are not. This is a reticulated python, oh baby. Um, they're not as food responsy. Um, if you work with them a lot, they tend to be a little more chill. Um, they're just like any other animal. If you condition them to expect food every time you open their enclosure, like the only time you open their enclosure is when you feed them, then yeah, they're always gonna come out with the food response. But if you work with them consistently, especially from a young age, then they recognize that opening up the door doesn't necessarily mean food and you can kind of see them thinking a little bit about what's going on. So. Now we do have some more food motivated kiddos. Like you call us food motivated, but Ara, Ara, hi sweetie. You're not gonna do it today, are you? She will usually take a second to realize that you're not food when you go to open her enclosure after, like a couple days after she's eaten. I also think she's going back into shed, so. Are you just potato? All right. Oh, there's Fuse, there it is. Hi, buddy. So he has a really good food response too. So I don't know if you saw him. <laughs> Are you going to launch yourself off of the shelf? Think about it. So if that happens, so tiny little baby. This is one of the reasons we have stay cooks. Hi, bud. You wanna try and eat this? Oh, good boy. So now he knows that there's no food. Theoretically. Oh, geez, you made me jump. Oh, buddy, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So we do these hooks sometimes. I'm not gonna get him out because um, he still has kind of a full tummy, but, and he's also going into shed. But some of the babies are more food responsive than others, as you can see. Hi, bud. Oh, you're so mad there's no more food. 
and you have a full tummy bud, you are fine. Now I keep primarily bioactive. Um, I like it because it's a little easier to keep the animals off of like um, urates and poop and stuff like that. So for example, this is, this is Centauri. She, she ate on Sunday too. She just made a hot mess out of her house. Like she also shed. So her house is a mess. So I need to get her out and clean paper. I mean, it's not hard. She needs to be on paper because for whatever reason, her being on some straight has caused her eye ducts to clog. So she is no longer on substrate and is indefinite, indefinitely on paper. Hi, honey, are you gonna come out hot? Coming out hot just means that they're gonna come out striking. <laughs> come on, I do need you to come out though. Hi, hi, I don't have food for you. No, I don't. Good girl. Hi, do you realize there's no food? Just phone, I don't want the phone. So that's, she's pretty easy um, to turn, all of them are pretty easy to turn off food mode, especially if they have a full tummy, which she does. You gotta come out so I can clean your dirty butt. Now these are the bioactives. This is Jahai's, this is Shai's. They are gonna get upgrades because they're starting to outgrow them. But as you can see, these are a little easier to maintain. Um, I spot clean every you know couple of days but yeah you don't have to like take out all the substrate and replace it very often at least because I have isopods in here which brings me to the next point see her shelf gets dirty so you still have to clean if you have a bioactive don't think you don't have to clean or do maintenance when you have the bioactive Aries he's also going into shed <laughs> everything gonna be in shade so I have bioactives, as I've mentioned. So that means I also have lots of isopods. So we keep uh, colonies of various kinds of isopods. The dairy cows, which is these guys, I have them labeled, it's backwards, but I have them labeled on their door. I just switched them to this enclosure, but lots of Dairy cows, these guys eat so much. So I just gave them a sizable amount of the dried shrimp and they've almost eaten it all in about two days. These guys are still in tubs. This is a really simple setup. Um, this, this situation for the isopods is just for me because I think it's just prettier. This is actually an easier, much easier, simpler setup. Got a little hole. These are actually like for, meant for the top of wine glasses to keep bugs out of it, but they work really well as vents. So that's fun but these are Oreo crumbles. Um, I do give them calcium coated fruits and veg about once a week, makes them very happy. So those are also to stock enclosures. The smaller guys, the Oreo crumbles, I put in the smaller, like the retake babies bioactives, I put these guys in there because they are tiny. So there's no risk of like, if a baby gets a little scraper cut or anything, there's no risk of them getting nipped at. Whereas these guys, these protein hogs would have a higher likelihood of nipping if anything were to happen. So, and then I also have zebras and giant canyon isopods. And these guys are just for me because I love them. They are my favorite isopod. They're very simple. They are not expensive at all. I just really enjoy them, so I keep them just for me. I might like put them in some kind of fun, fancy setup in one of our main living areas, if that ever happens. And then Giant Canyons, I'm starting a colony of these to add to the bigger enclosures, like Aerie's enclosure and Stella's enclosure to help aerate because they burrow like crazy and they're bigger, so. Hi, Stella. This big girl also ate a nice big meal on Sunday. So she's she's a little fired up right now. <laughs> she's like, you have no food, okay, bye. Usually, if they, especially if they're still digesting, if they realize that you don't have food, they just go back to, look at how fired up her head is. They go back to being cozy. So, hi, honey. You're so cute, look at you. Now granted, if I open the door and put my hand in front of her face, there is a likelihood that she would bite me because she's still, she's still slight, honestly, 
I don't think she's really that food booty. She's just double checking to make sure. But she rarely comes out. She's actually never come out hot since I switched her to her giant toad ranch enclosure. So, yeah, she's still gaining weight from her MI, but she's getting there. Oh my God, look how pretty you are. I think that's about all the rando factos I have for you all today. Uh, now I need to go figure out what to do because all of my snakes are either in shed or digesting. <laughs>